Hello, my athletes. It's Wednesday. I have a workout for you consisting of double unders and double dumbbell deadlifts. It's a lot of D words right there. Some good alliteration for you. Um, double unders. Actually, both the double unders and the deadlifts have a descending rep scheme, right? So we start with some big rounds and work our way down through some small rounds at the end, which I think is a good motivator. Moving through a workout, knowing that next round is going to be a little bit shorter, the next round fast going to be a little bit shorter. It's a good thing to keep you moving forward. Uh, double unders, of course, if you have a jump rope and you can jump rope wherever you're working out, great, fantastic. Even better if you have those double unders, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 on those. If you have a jump rope but you can't do double unders yet, you're going to do single unders. Go ahead and multiply each of those by, I usually do 1.5 on those, or you're, you're welcome to do two, it's your workout. So that set of 50, if it was 1.5, of course, it would be 75 single unders. Or if you want to double it up, you'd go 100 single unders. That would make for a slightly longer workout. Your choice on that one. Although I usually do 1.5 here at the gym, so people aren't spending too much time on the jump rope. Your choice. Um, but it's any reps game on that. Oh, and of course, the other, the other option, uh, we would do an equal amount of line hops, right? If we can't jump rope, we don't have a jump rope. We'll put that point on the floor and we'll go across, right? We're going to do our line hops for an equal amount right there. Or, as we have our dumbbells that are dead, let's we'll go across and back on the dumbbell, right? So we're going across and back. That would be one rep I just did right there, in which case you would cut all those numbers in half. So a set of 50 would be 25 of those, a set of 40 would be 20 of those. And remember, across and back counts as one rep. And then we got some deadlifts today. So I have it written, as you can see, as a double dumbbell deadlifts. Two dumbbells, one in each hand, standing on the sits back, tapping the floor, keeping the shins vertical, keeping the belly tight, keeping the back flat. And we're doing 25, 20, 15, 10, and a final set of five per variant. Focus here, heel slack, belly tight, and it's all in the hips, right? Focus is on reaching back those hips as much as you can. The shins and the knees should really stay stationary during a deadlift, right? So if your knees are coming forward a lot, something's not happening right. It's all in the hips. Hips go back, we tap the weights to the floor, hips go forward to the top. It's all glutes and hamstrings. We're making sure to keep that back nice and flat by keeping that belly nice and tight. Now obviously deadlifts can be done with a variety of implements. You might have a barbell sitting around. Great, do some barbell deadlifts. You might have maybe one heavy kettlebell. One kettlebells work really well for deadlifts. You might have one heavy dumbbell. I don't know. Um, you're doing a fair amount of reps today. So choose a medium to slightly heavy uh, weight. And you may be limited by what you have at home. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it could be an odd object. It could be any number of things. Might be a bay, might go out to your garage and have a big bag of like, I don't know, fertilizer or potting soil or whatever. So even on like a bag or something works really well. Deadlifts are very, very nice in that way. You can use a number of different things. So descending rep scheme, right? You do the jump rope, then the deadlift. Jump rope, deadlift, jump rope, deadlift, jump rope, deadlift, all the way down the end. Your very last, very last set of uh, round, I should say, as written, is those 10 double unders, five deadlifts. All right. Um, warm up movements, I have, so 30 seconds of each one as usual. I'm totally out of the camera here, sorry. My camera guy's on strike. Just kidding, I don't have a camera guy. Um, as you can see, so you'll be doing some jumping a few times there. Uh, so either, yeah, your, your jump rope or your line humps, whichever one, a little bit faster each time. And then you're gonna alternate a couple things here. What do I have? Um, so a down dog. Let me pause this for a moment. That didn't work. All right, sorry about that. Um, so two rounds, 30 seconds of each. So you start with easy single unders, right? Either jump rope or your line hops. Then a little down dog action, which I'm sure you're probably familiar with by now. We're going to do the, the down dog for 30 seconds. Heels down, hands down, giving those calves a good stretch by pressing the heels and gently pressing the chest down towards the toes. Just holding that for 30 seconds. Take a nice big inhale, exhale there. Uh, then we'll go back to the jump rope or the line hops a little bit faster. Then plank hold on the elbows. You know it, you love it. Everything is nice and tight in the middle, right? Belly tight, butt tight, wide tight. 30 second plank hold. Then back to the jump rope again a little bit faster. 
And then the last one in the warm up is inchworm to push ups. So start at the top. Hands go down to the floor, ideally keeping the legs relatively straight. Walk it out, push it up, just walk it back. All legs to the toes if you can get them there. All right. So I want you to do two rounds of that, if you will. 30 seconds of each one, two times through. And that should get you warmed up for today's workout. Um, that's all I got. Have a good workout, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.